Hey guys, this is Naren Zade with the Hammer Bros, and it's time for our first tournament set of battle reports. Um, I showed up at my local tournament on Saturday, and we were doing prep for the Sylvania GT. Game 1 was the Blood and Glory scenario. It follows most of the rules for Blood and Glory. Um, the only exception is that when you break your opponent, you don't win the game. You get something like an extra 300 victory points. So, my first game was against Widows. Uh, as you can see here, on the right, he has a unit of Way Watchers. Uh, those metal mounted models are uh, wild riders uh, to the left of that are sisters of the thorn to the left of that are just normal archers in a venomous thicket uh, to the left of them is a great eagle to the left of them is another unit of wild riders and to the left of them is another great eagle uh, in the center there are some way the scouting ones the way stalkers with two of the characters in them on my right side of the board here I have my doom wheel uh, rat dart another rat dart in the center of the board I have both my cannons uh, my two units of slaves each rocking an engineer the one on the right has the dispel scroll engineer the one on the left has the warp energy condenser you can see my big unit of storm vermin with my warlord and behind him is the bunker uh, I moved my slaves there so they are not my slaves my uh, gunner runners so it doesn't have line of sight and I'll pop over the top and shoot it as wild riders hopefully frenzy bait them uh, get them into combat with my storm vermin I might take a couple casualties but at least I'll get rid of that big hitter unit to the left there on his you can see more of the uh, way stalkers whatever the scouting unit is again with uh, with two of the stalker characters on my left side of the board his right has another rat dart my help hit and then my gutter runners who are kinda standing off against his uh, his scouting unit turn one goes to Skaven I rocket my doom wheel straight up um, I'm not too scared of any of his shots, and if I can get into close combat with him, uh, my Doom Wheel will just grind him down. I move my Rat Darts up to just be a distraction because I don't really care if they die. Uh, I move up everything in the center, as you can see. I pop my, uh, my Gunner Runners up over the top to look at his Wild Riders, hopefully pick one or two off. Uh, and then I just push straight forward because I'm not afraid of getting into combat with him, and I think my Blocks of Slaves will... Um, most likely beat his archers in combat, and if not, hold them up for you know the rest of the game until I can get my storm vermin in there. On the left side, I move up my help hit like so. Um, I'm not too afraid of anything. I really just want to get him to touch something and contain. Uh, we go to my magic phase. I roll up. Um, I roll up. I think six or so dice, and he only has three or four. I throw six dice. I get off uh, the curse the horned rat irresistibly and I kill off uh, well, all those guys right there uh, I suffer one wound to all my casters uh, the only one that doesn't take a wound is my grace here uh, shooting phase my cannon decides that it's time to kill a rat dart off and it shoots off the rat dart uh, my other cannon uh, fires and hits the uh, bunker with all of his characters with the uh, with his characters with the Sisters of the Thorn. Um, he makes all of his ward saves though, or I don't wound, because I think I only rolled something like a 2 for the bounce, so uh, happens. I shoot at his Wild Riders, and I kill one of them, and then we go to his turn. He charges with his Wild Riders into my Skaven uh, Gutter Runners, which I'm okay with. I stand and shoot, I don't kill any, and uh, he's going to overrun directly into my Storm Vermin. Like I said, it'll hurt a little bit, but I'll take them out, and I'll take that trade. You can see the rest of his movement here. Uh, on the right side, his archers stayed pretty much where they are. He moved his wild riders on the right to try and get uh, a flank on my doom wheel or to just protect those archers. He moved his scouting unit to the left. He turned his archers and he ran his sisters of the thorn into the forest trying to get them away from that doom wheel. Uh, he moves both of his great eagles up on the left there to uh, support, I believe, or to redirect my slave bunkers or my slave blocks. Uh, and he doesn't move, I don't believe, on the left-hand side. We go to his magic phase. Uh, he gets five dice. He rolls all five, and he throws uh, 
Malkos Mystifying Miasma for three on my on my Storm Vermin. I'm unable to dispel it, so their weapon skills reduce to one. Uh, basically, one's across the board, but I'm not too worried about it. I think volume of attacks will kill those Wild Riders anyway. Uh, he fires all of his arrows on the right hand side there to at my doom wheel and gets one wound through. Uh, I believe I misfire here and I get and I roll a six, so I get the burst of speed. So now that doom wheel is going four d6. On the left hand side, he shoots. Uh, he kills two of my gutter runners, but they make their panic check. As you can see, I plinked off a couple of those during his turn. Uh, he uses his snipers to try and take out my uh, engineer here. Uh, he only gets one wound through though, luckily. Uh, oh, also during his magic phase he got off the Shield of Thorns, uh, which did, I believe, one wound to my uh, to my Storm Vermin. Uh, the combat over there, I don't believe I kill any. Uh, on the right here, you can see I I'm not sure how we lost some... Oh yeah, that's right, from the shooting earlier. So that's uh, just a picture of him losing some of those archers from earlier that I had spoken about. Uh, on the left-hand side here, during my turn, I shoot uh, at his scouts, take them out. Uh, I kill one or two, I think, whatever would induce a panic check. Uh, he fails his uh, leadership 8 check and runs off the board. My doom wheel hits those, uh, hits those archers. Uh, he fails to uh, stick and I run him down with my doom wheel. The combat with the storm vermin is pretty straightforward. I kill one of them, he kills a bunch of me and I stick. Skaven turn, I push up like so. My help it can't get into anything. Oh no, this is his turn, I apologize. This is his turn and I moved my help hit. This is just a picture of the help hit last turn. And this is his movement. His movement, he moves his wild riders around, ignoring that uh, doom wheel that's running around up top now. Uh, and he slides his scouts by me. Uh, he's going to try and get into my bunker, which actually I kind of um, didn't see coming. Uh, his magic phase is inco inconsequential. Uh, his shooting is also inconsequential. I believe he kills a couple slaves there on the left-hand side. Uh, during combat, I finally beat up those wild riders. I kill all of them, and I reform. Uh, when I reform, I turn to face his wild riders with my storm vermin. Um, because of the, because my skaven were in the way, I charge with my slaves up towards his bunker at the top, and then I charge out my lone character. Um, because I wasn't sure if I could, if I was going to be able to make it, if the slaves were going to go far enough, uh, they would have anyway if I could get in there with my storm vermin, but. Uh, with my warlord with his potion of strength popped in the flank of those wild riders, I'm not too worried. Uh, my doomwheel and my help hit both try to close the noose around his character bunker. Uh, I believe I also activated the storm banner at this point, um, just because I didn't want any of his planky shooting that he had left on the board to get through and take care of anything. Uh, my magic phase is inconsequential, I don't really get anything off. Uh, he and my uh, my warlord in close combat doesn't do anything. Uh, I do zero wounds to him. He does nothing to me. Uh, I get him in the flank, and I win by I believe I win by one, or we draw, and I stick, and he reforms. So now he's facing me here. So that's uh, that's not good. He moves his uh, his bunker around, just trying to get out of the way. Um, he doesn't want any part of me, and well, I'm trying to get to him. Uh, during his magic phase, he throws all of his dice to enfeeble, um, or no, excuse me, he throws all of his dice to Pit of Shades, my help hit, and with, it's something like two, four to two, and I throw both my dice, and I dispel that, so another inconsequential, ma inconsequential magic phase. Uh, here's a shot of the left side of the board, his unit there. Uh, and then we're going to go to the right here, and my warlord breaks from combat. I think he gets one wound dealt to him, and I don't do any again to the wild riders, oddly enough. So, they lose. Uh, yeah, I was really kind of surprised at that. So, uh, as you can see, on my turn, I'm going to charge into him, 
in the flank here of his wild riders. Uh, my magic is inconsequential since I really can't do anything to uh, kill those guys. My I fire off uh, a couple shots with my uh, warp lightning cannons at his bunker, and I fail to hit. I think with the yep, I fail to hit with the first one, and the second one I hit, and I wound one. Uh, but I managed to not hit any of the characters because I keep getting strength two shots. But that's okay. We go to close combat here, and I beat the ponies, and they run by. I don't catch them, unfortunately. Uh, on the Also in the upper right-hand corner, here's a picture of what I tried to do. I tried to touch that bunker with my help hit and couldn't quite reach it. So I moved my doom wheel that way, and I'm trying to block him in, but he's awfully crafty. So we go to his turn, and he runs into the corner there. Uh, his wild riders rally and they pop over here uh, he I believe he rolls a 2-1 for his magic phase doesn't get anything of consequence off uh, we slide over to the final turn of the game and I move everything up to try and box him in uh, but I don't need to I fire one more lightning cannon and I get the perfect bounce strength 10 uh, and he fails his lookout sir, or he doesn't have a lookout sir, I wound and I kill both of his characters and uh, I think I leave one Sister of the Thorn and my opponent calls it. So game one, I get max bonus points and uh, we're looking pretty good for the tournament so far. Uh, we'll play game two next and that is also against Wood Elves, but an entirely different kind and I think you'll be surprised. Thanks for watching.